New Patriotic Party engaged in a lot of misleading commentary and outright populism, whilst in opposition is the public debt. Amidst the deliberate misrepresentation of the fact about our own debt position, its computation rationale for borrowing, they also claim to possess the magic to mobilize domestic resources to finance their campaign promises. They dismiss borrowing as a lazy man's approach to economic management and promise a different paradigm. Contrary to this claim, our public debt has ballooned from 154 billion, has ballooned to 154 billion, excluding the energy bond of 4.7 billion. As at May 2018, from the 122 billion in January 2017. Can I take that again? <laughs> Contrary to this claim, our public debt has ballooned to 154 billion cities, excluding the energy bond of 4.7 billion, as at May 2018, from what they inherited, 122 billion, as at January 2017. The public debt is expected to increase further by 3.8 billion should the financing plan that I talked about, 3.8 billion financing plan of selling state assets, monetizing mineral royalties, get telcos to pay upfront, amounting to 3.8 billion. Should that fail to go up, should that fail to materialize, then the public debt is going to go up by 3.8 billion. In addition to this, the government has issued a bond of 2.2 billion to Ghana Commercial Bank, GCB, in respect of the assumption of the collapse of the UT Bank and Capital Bank. This has added, the, added to the public debt and will be borne by the poor taxpayer. Furthermore, the government has earmarked another 2.3 billion cities as a possible cost to the taxpayer should Unibank collapse. This means that the financial sector related costs for 2018 will also increase the public debt by 4.5 billion cities. The two put together 2.2 billion and 2.3 billion. We were the first to bring this to the attention of Ghanaians. This issuance of public debt to defray private debt was not done in a transparent manner, as the policy was not presented to Parliament and the public for debate before agreement was reached with GCB, the IMF, and other stakeholders. The debt service commitment will be met from taxes imposed on Ghanaians as a precautionary against similar occurrence in future. We, the minority, will urge the government to adopt the non-performing asset recovery trust, what we call the NAPAT approach. <laughs>